Take four minutes to tell your partner your life story in as much detail as possible. So, <laughs> so let's say your life story would be your band story. Yeah. Buck, Annie, New York, Mr. Kiwi. Tens of thousands of gas stations. Tour. Blues, kids got talent. <coughs> Here we go, guitars, obsession, Chicago, Midwest, in a band, broken parasite, eight years old, early age, young, young little one, <laughs> beautiful boy, television, star, finding bass, instrument, teacher who blows his mind, realizing journey, going off into the abyss of music and something more, and then me just, uh, Michael Hedges. Band. Michael Hedges. Little Women. Pat Guitar. Metheny. Crying. Writing songs. So I say, yeah. snow, church, snow. not church. Guitar. Yeah, church. Broken not string, church. broken heart. Fixing heart, fixing string. <laughs> <laughs> Tension, release. Open, close, open, close. For what in life do you feel most grateful? I'd say, I don't know, family, like having a relationship with family. It is pretty cool to be able to see, taste, smell, yeah. touch, yeah. and to feel so much like emotion mm. through those things. I am very thankful for air conditioning, <laughs> specifically. Because every time I'm like with it, if I'm hot, and it's cooling me down. <laughs> I just can't believe it, that, that it exists and I love it. I feel like we've accomplished a lot of things, but there's also like an underlying knowing of like achieving a specific event is not the point. When she holds me in her jaw, all my blood dripping. The biggest feeling of success is keeping yeah. aware, keeping like alive and awake and feeling in ourselves, like how you can bring certain things to light in each other or in yourself. Whoa, what, you feel that? Whoa, it makes me feel this, feel this. And then suddenly you're just in a different plane of, of awareness. Alternate sharing something that you consider a positive characteristic about each other. Someone do one for me. <laughs> <laughs> also, James's ability to release some things that would be hard for me to let go of or, you know, just like water under the bridge. One thing I admire about Buck is his unhesitating openness to jumping into situation. This one time we were on a beach, and then I was looking at Buck, and I was saying, man, it's so amazing. How do you do this thing where you like build things, and like, it's like you want something, you have an idea, and then you like, you do it, you know, like the initiative is like really strong, and it's like, I said, how do you do it? And he looked at me, and he was like, ah. he's like, my dad told me when I was young, he said, if you want something, you just build it. <laughs> and we were both like, oh my God, you just built it. <laughs> It made so much sense. Yeah. <laughs> so simple. <laughs> Max's certain type of playfulness. It's like in touch with the purest form of play, like how you can play, like play with me, play with someone you meet, play in the sense of unlocking other people's childlike curiosity in nature like immediately like I've seen it happen with people you meet like people who might you, you don't even know you don't even have a chance to see if they are guarded because it's, I've yeah. seen you just sort of dispel it just by being yourself I'd like to say something about Annie and <laughs> your bravery you have a very very strong powerful engine it basically is about being present is something that's almost like breathing for you. Since that you do with guitar, you do with music, you do with other things also. I 
think Adrian is a talented excavator. Instead of just being like, oh, I feel all this and it sucks, or I feel all this and it's so much, it's like, I feel all of it, and now I'm gonna explore it. And it happens to be through music. have conversation where we think okay like this is pretty intense and then we're like but uh, beneath that even <laughs> is there's this going on and then we backtrack 10 more right. years and we're like whoa okay yeah. Yeah. wow crisp fall, mm. like kind of musty houses. I feel like <laughs> the smell of just like also like where the, I was born and raised in, uh, in Tel Aviv in Israel. So every time I come back, I, I land, I can smell the smells. Like summer, it smells like water coming up your nose because it's humid, you know? And, mm. and also <laughs> I have family in the States, my grandma, my aunt and uncle. So I used to come every year since I was a baby. So coming to the States was also part of this the smell of childhood. Mm -hmm. so every time I'd land, I'd be like, in my idea, I was like, ah, oh, the land of fun, of snow, <laughs> <laughs> of presents. Mine smelled like ladybugs because I had an infestation of ladybugs in my room. And it was like, we'd have to like vacuum. I feel bad about this. We had to vacuum mm. rows of them, like, <laughs> like mowing a lawn almost, like, because they would cover the ceiling. And I remember the smell. Like of them like burnt a little bit burning. Burnt. Like this oh, oh. really wild smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a thousand ladybugs burning. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> 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 that's really <laughs> <laughs>